Madness. I'm so excited for that. I was very excited for a Pokemon game on console, and Sword and Shield has been a lot of fun. I've played that a lot. It has been. Um, all right, so you're correcting your, your uh, assessment of Doc. We have proper pregame. Sometimes I, I love when you pregame, and then like a completely different character yeah, comes yeah, up. Yeah. So it's like, well, that would have been nice if it mattered. But nonetheless, it's Nest versus Doc. It is Dr. Mario, yes. And uh, interestingly, Dr. Mario, I don't think, can do that up air, up air stuff that... Um, Mario, that his, his non-medically educated, uh, or, or perhaps it's a PhD, who knows. Uh, <laughs> blue-collar Mario. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that blue-collar Mario, the people's Mario can do. Uh, a much more sort of piecemeal combo game. To me, as someone who played Melee Ganon for many years, Dr. Mario actually really reminds me of Melee Ganon in a lot of ways, both in how you play the neutral and in the fact that that can just happen. Yeah, no, Doc, Doc at the ledge can be kind of dangerous, and Dara hasn't figured out just yet how they can space out uh, Doc, because Doc's Mega Vitamins are actually a very respectable projectile. Yeah, they're really good, and they they shoot at a very good angle for Dr. Mario. I'd even say a better angle than uh, Worker Mario's Fireballs. Do. I would agree. I think on yeah. top of that, Back is picking uh, their options for going in very well. I love that wait, really willing to just wait in shield as Durangar picks their options, and then jumping back in order to catch the roll on. Really interesting stuff, and kind of getting around Dr. Mario's regrettable run speed by just taking to the air and punishing that way. Oh, but manages to catch the air dodge with a grab. Durangar hitting him with the sort of sneaky stuff, and that was a really interesting up smash there because it would cover normal getup, but because of how the yo-yo works, it would also cover hanging on the ledge. Really smart stuff. Let's see how the combo extends. I'll be out of shield. Really You're interesting in up B, yeah. And Durangar, such good mastery of that Ness recovery. And they're making those circles on a box. Yeah, man. but they gotta, they're going to have to focus that a little bit better if yeah. they're going to try to recover against that. It was an excellent down tilt. Oh, there. my God. What a conversion off the cape on PK Thunder. Really amazing stuff. I love Dr. Mario's back throw so much where he just kind of, he's, oh, wow, that, that. I mean, it was a little too early to kill, but it put Dara in a but terrible that edge angle. guard. Oh, wow, the cape oh, not going to do grip? it and gets right into the back throw. Not going to kill yet, but Ness's back throw, of course, infamous for killing really early. And uh, Dr. Mario, of course, has a very hard time getting back to, his, to the stage and definitely doesn't have the kind of recovery that you need, but definitely is the forward air that you need to take game one over Duramgar on Town and City. Really impressive stuff from back, showing off some of the really great stuff Dr. Mario can do, and how quickly Doc can really run away with a game. So, what do you really think Durangar has to focus on changing if they want to take this game, too? I think they need to pick some better buttons. I think approaching with forward air is not the move against Doc, just because Doc is going to be able to run around and shield a lot, can contest the space with Mega Vitamin, or can just throw out the up B and contest with pretty heavy hitting moves. And it seems like Dara is having a bit more difficulty at the ledge than um, rather on stage, but is able to turn very good reversals in their own right. We'll see if the switch to CN2 is going to help them out at all. Are they waiting? What are they doing? Yeah. I don't oh, know. this is neutral. Oh, okay. right, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that was like a crew battle. <laughs> Give, yeah, giving the young three, two, one. Tilt, a really impressive conversion from back. I think uh, using a lot of Dr. Mario's more obscure moves and in really interesting ways to pick up these low percentage conversions. Wow, and I love how he's using that F tilt, almost like how you might see like a melee Falco use F tilt, to really just put pressure on the shield and punish the next thing. It seems like it seems like Back is very intimately aware of how Doc's kit works because we're seeing a lot of usage of moves that aren't they're very situational, but he knows the situations where yeah, they could be no, utilized. No, exactly. And definitely I think Duramgar's gotten caught rolling onto the stage quite a bit this set. And that's something that once Dr. Mario can really figure out what you're trying to do on the ledge, that's when you can start dying incredibly early. Because the ledge is definitely a situation where it doesn't matter how slow Dr. Mario is, because they can put their moves wherever they want, really. Uh, and it's really... Uh, that kind of starting to run away with it. Really impressive stuff with this Dr. Mario. And just shielding the mix-up after the PK PSI magnet, definitely an option that I, I really like. I think is, is definitely a really good thing to do against Ness. Great uh, ledge trap from Durangar. We'll see the edge guard. All right. I love the patience. Yeah. We've yeah, seen yeah, the yo-yo yeah. pick up so often. It's just not enough armor from the, uh, from the upbeat. No, what? there's really not. And I'm curious to see 
if back in the Ooh. next time we'll we'll try and go higher to sort of get around that because it doesn't seem like going through it is really gonna work. I love that down there so much. Oh yeah, big boots. Yeah, he, they gave him Falcon Stomp. I'm actually so disappointed that Mario didn't get that, but I guess that that's what the second year of medical school is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, interesting. Manages to uh, not get killed with the PSI magnet, but it doesn't absorb uh, anything. And just like you brought up earlier, rolling to the ledge with Zara's demise multiple times, and back was in position to cover it, but Zara adapted this time. Yeah. Oh, wow. Just mashing up the out of uh, that PK fire can be really potent, especially because a lot of Nesses love to try and confirm a grab off of PK fire. Back certainly aware of that, certainly aware of how that works in the matchup and some really impressive stuff from back. It really looks like Durangar's being put in a lot of situations where they're not so comfortable, and back Ooh. knows exactly what to look for. Like that cape takes up a pill for the taunt. Amazing kill from back. Got Durangar on their last stock, so we'll see what they can do here. I like how back now just wants to hold center stage, just trying to keep a lot of that space away from Dara, trying to contest a bit of the damage. Because even though 108, relatively speaking, is kind of early on, we've seen multiple times that Dara is not struggling to net those kills once the damage is on board. It's really the bouts in neutral that are hurting Dara. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Goes for the tornado to maybe read, like, I don't even know what he was trying to read there. Yeah, I don't uh, know. But Dara I do not know it's patience. good. All right. Yeah. Back, like, went for every option that wasn't selected and got blown up for it. And Dara can definitely make this happen, but they need some big conversions early on, right? And they're off stage. We'll see what they can do. And back knows to go for that dash attack to cover the double double jump back. Ness is, of course. Oh, back throw might kill at this percentage? No. Oh, good DI. Good, good DI. I love the stall with all of these specials. And very smart to opt for the air dodge return to the stage. Because we've seen. How good back is it getting these oh two frames? Amazing two frames. Unable oh, to get wild. the down angled forward smash. But Duran are putting on some vital damage here. But. Gonna get it with the pill uh, up air. Amazing stuff from back. Really showing his mastery of this character. Really showing his knowledge of some of Dr. Mario's more obscure uh, sort of niche interactions. And I think that back really put on a very good show. I, I saw a lot of stuff that I was very much unaware that Dr. Mario could Doc do. Is, Doc is such a 